Well, everyone that's been watching the NFL games on Thanksgiving just saw Minnesota Vikings win against the Detroit Lions first half in game. The LA Chargers beating the Dallas Cowboys incredibly easily first half in game. And then right now it's halftime. The Giants are up 3-0 against the Redskins. The Redskins game, most everybody was pounding the Redskins. In fact, I, th I think I went against the public on all, on all three. Public money was on the Lions, tons of public money on the Cowboys and on the Redskins. Most touts went against me as well. If the uh, Giants end up winning, we will have uh, six, or covering the seven, we'll end up hitting six out of six on the NFL today. Why did I take the Giants when every, everyone else was taking the Redskins? Well, the Redskins and Giants are a long time rivalry and the Giants get up for the Redskins games. Rarely do you see the Redskins blow out the Giants and I'd have to go back and look, but I can't recall the Redskins being a seven point favorite against the Giants ever in the last 10 years. If, if they were maybe once, but I don't recall it. The Redskins are playing their third game in uh, two weeks. They're tired. They've got some key injuries on their lines. They actually had to pull from their practice squad to get teams, to get players in for this, this game. The Giants are starting to play uh, better. They've got a really stout defense, tremendously good uh, corners. And as you can see in the game, Kirk Cousins is having all kinds of trouble against this Giants secondary. And uh, the pass rush has been fairly effective as well against against the Redskins and the cousin, and Kirk Cousins. I expected the game to be tight. I should have taken the under as well. That was a mistake. It was a good correlation to take the Giants and under. So I apologize. I didn't pull the trigger on that one, but I uh, should have. Uh, with the uh, Chargers and the Cowboys, uh, since uh, the Cowboys lost uh, their running back, they have not been able to move the ball at all. They really rely on having an effective ground game to have an effective passing game as well. And you can see that without the, without the running game, Dallas has just been horrendous on offense. On the other hand, the Chargers have been moving the ball effectively against everybody they've been playing. Uh, Rivers has, has been uh, really strong, effective with his short, short games. He's been catching the uh, receivers in stride, a lot of runs after catch. And it, it was uh, pretty, pretty clear to me that the Chargers were going to win this game. Obviously, the general public looks at it and says, Dallas at home, getting points against the Chargers? It doesn't make any sense. I'll bet on the Chargers. Well, that's why proper handicapping, you have to look at what's going on with the teams, the fundamentals. You have to look at their histories and and understand what's likely to happen this particular game. I agree, normally, under normal circumstances, the Cowboys at home would beat the Chargers, but not today, not in this situation. The Vikings are on a streak. They are playing incredibly well. They've always had a strong defense, but this year with their new offensive coordinator, they are moving the ball effectively too, even with their third string quarterback at play. It just shows how, how strong their offensive line is. Uh, you see they've been giving uh, uh, tremendous protection and time for their quarterback and they've been able to have an effective running game as well. And the one drive opening the third quarter, they went with four consecutive runs from the, their 25 yard line into the, into the end zone of the Detroit Lions. It was a beautiful thing to see. And they, they went ahead and, and won that. So I was against the public and I was against the, the normal touts on all three games. I like being in the position where I'm opposite of most people. I've always liked um, when that's the case because generally the public is wrong. And even the touts in the NFL are generally not uh, hitting a high percentage as well. So I hope you all had the opportunity to take advantage of these, these three games and helped add to your joyous Thanksgiving. Thanks again for joining this 
Sports Betting Whale on the video channels, and I look forward to being on the channels, talking to you again soon. Thank you. That's good. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him! Probably went out of bounds. Darn it. Still third down, though. I can't tell me. <coughs> Man, that, their offensive line has given him all the time he needs, though. Well, they're not rushing there. How many did they rush? Three? Oh, four. Yeah. Four. No, that was on the sack that got him. Oh, I was like, what? They're that close? <laughs> Big play, everyone. Big play. Oh, Lord. Oh, Plenty of time. Oh, that should have been holding. That should have been holding. Yes. No flags, no flags, no flags. They kick their field goal, hopefully they miss it. Cool. See, you talk to them around for cups. <laughs> well, you probably were just talking about them. Yeah, I have Yeah, I mean, that was a bad beat. I just don't know what to say. Oh, man. Oh, you know, they set that play up. Oh, 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 Going forward, I'll continue to release all of my daily picks to you for free if you text me or subscribe to my mailing list. So make sure to text me or subscribe to my free mailing list so I can continue sending you all of my picks every day. I've made tens of millions of dollars betting on sports over the years and now I'm finally breaking my secret so that you too can share in my success. All you have to do is either click on the link in the description of this video or send me a text message to my phone number at 702-462-1135. If you're texting me from outside the United States, add the plus one, so it's plus one, 702-462-1135. I will begin texting and emailing you with all of my daily picks whenever they come up. Remember, subscribing to my mailing list is 100% free, no strings attached. And every day that you're not a subscriber to my free mailing list is another day that you may have missed out on one of my devastating winning runs. So be sure to click on the link in the description of this video or send me a text at 702-462-1135 or if you're outside of the United States, plus one, 702-462-1135 to join my mailing list today, 100% free. And you'll be the first to know when I release my killer picks every single day. Again, 100% free.